Hello guys, so today I want to show you a line that I picked up from a Joe Anderson record called In and Out and it's from a track called Punjab and it goes something like this So he plays that line over an E major 7 chord The idea behind the line is that you have two stacks of fourths so you have B to E and then E to A so you get that sound um, and then you go up a fifth, so you go to F sharp, and you play the same thing. So you play two fourths. You play F sharp, B, and E. And then from F sharp, you go to the fifth, so the fifth of F sharp. So you go to C sharp, and you play again a stacks of fourths. So you get F sharp, um, sorry, C sharp. F sharp and then B and then you resolve on G sharp um, which is the fifth of C sharp so an idea that I got from another guy named Anderson Scott Anderson a great guitar player was that you need to learn from the lick you cannot just play the lick I mean it's great to play the lick as is but it's nice to develop your own way of playing it um, and also to invent new variation so that you kind of hide the original lick that you've learned and make it your own, uh, integrate it you know, into your own playing. So here's a couple ideas that you can always do when you learn a line like this. So the first thing is when you learn a line like this that fits into a scale, you can always play it through the old guitar neck. So for that particular line, it would go something like this. So the cool thing when you map out the guitar like that is that you're not limited to playing the line in one particular way. You can always play it from anywhere on the guitar neck. So instead of going up with the line, you can go down and it would sound something like this. So another idea that you can do when you learn uh, a pattern like that is to only take one cell of the pattern and to improvise with it. So instead of adding the whole pattern, you can just take that little cell and improvise with it and see what comes out. So... So... Usually when people learn to improvise, they categorize things. So they put everything that's an arpeggio into arpeggio and everything that's a chord into the chord section. Uh, but one interesting way that you can create new ideas is to mix them up. So here's the line played as chords. It's not very exciting, but it sounds like this. And if you separate notes and you add a little bit of rhythm, I think it's better. So like the previous idea, you can always play it through the whole scale, like this. So that's all for today's video. I hope you got something from it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.